Hey guys, welcome to a new video. Today I'm gonna talk a little bit about doing freeform and freeform shapes on Rhinoceros. Um, the version I'm running is for Mac OS 10, I guess, yeah. So it's, it's um, for Apple computers, uh, if it's a MacBook Air, MacBook Pro, iMac, it doesn't matter, it works. And obviously you can get the Windows version as well. So um, I had already uploaded a video about the basic stuff in Rhinoceros in Spanish. If you guys want an English version of that, let me know. I will prepare uh, an English version of that video as well. And so um, when you open Rhinoceros, this is um, the main view you get. You've got um, here on the top, like the four windows we're seeing right now with the top perspective, front and right. Um, you can also be at one window at the time so for example if you are working on an object and you want to see how it's um, if the form is working out and if uh, there are no um, missing parts or open edges you can go in perspective view and just uh, with the mouse pad or with your mouse you can uh, scroll and move around and for example right now I'm not using a mouse um, so I'm to turn, to move from side to side, sorry, to move from side to side, I'm pressing shift and swiping left and right. And you can go up and down as well. And if you wanna turn around your object, you just swipe with your fingers. But it, as you can see, I'm just staying in one axis. So if I wanna move, I have to press shift and then I can turn around again. So, um, Let's start by sketching a curve and uh, we're going to use this tool, control point curve. And what this basically does, it allows you to sketch a curve uh, after placing a point. For example, I'm pressing a point, I'm leaving a point on, on that coordinate and I can move around wherever I, wherever I want. And I can also swipe from window if I want to sketch or to draw a point um, not just in, in 2D, but also in 3D. But I'm right now gonna stay at the top window and I'm gonna start just sketching. Then I'm gonna pass to the right and I'm gonna add some height. Go again to the top. And I guess I'm gonna end it right there, pressing enter. And we can go in perspective view I'm just gonna erase this right here. Uh, this is the, the line we have right now. And um, as you can see, it goes up a little bit. It looks, I don't know, kind of like a snake. And um, now you might say, okay, this was not exactly like I wanted to be. How can I change this? It's very simple. You just select the curve. You press Fn and 10, F10. So Fn and the on, on the upper um, part of the keyboard, you go to the F10 option and holding two buttons down, one Fn and the other one F10, you get shown the control points of your curve. So I can select each point individually and I can move them around how, however I want them to um, and give them a new position. So for example, this area right here is it's too much like left and right so I'm gonna tweak it a little bit let's see I'm I'm not trying to to do a specific object or product right now I'm just trying to show you guys how you can sketch a curve and make it to a surface because that's actually the key for freeform shapes for organic shapes in rhinoceros you need to sketch your curve and then you have different tools which you can use to to make it a surface or a solid and um, I guess I will move these two points you can also select more points at once by holding shift and pressing the and selecting the, the points you want to move just like this and I'm gonna select these two as well and then this last one, like this. yeah. 
and if you want to get rid of the control points you just press escape and now we are going uh, we're going to extrude a surface out of this curve so we go to surface extrude curve straight and we're going to select our curve press enter and we can move we can choose in which direction uh, we're, we're doing this so this is one option to get a curve into a, a, a flat surface well not a flat surface but into a surface so if you guys want you can also adjust the size with these um, sorry about that that was that was my cat um, so you can also adjust the size for example the height if I select this um, blue square right here I can change the size and the same goes um, for the, the width or the length and um, if you want to change this evenly so uh, without losing proportion you can either choose the blue one or the green one and press shift hold and press shift press and hold shift yeah <laughs> and it keeps the proportion and it goes in a scale of one centimeter or one millimeter depending the scale you're using um, right now and if you don't know which scale you're using you can check this by going into file settings and the unit is shown here so you can change it to centimeters meters kilometers inches whatever you you need or whatever you want i'm just going to leave it in millimeters right now and so this is the first option you can extend or better said extrude the surface and you can also play with the surface and adapt it change it to the shape or size you want it to be. I'm gonna put this aside. Uh, another thing we can do is to revolve, but for this I will have to um, change the shape a little bit. So the effect gets a little bit clearer and it's more easier. It's easier to, to visualize what I'm about to do. I have never tried to revolve a curve which is in different points, meaning um, not on a flat surface, but uh, 3D. So that's gonna be an experiment. And to do this, we need an axis, right? So I'm just gonna trace a line. I'm gonna type in line. And I'm going to connect these ends together. So um, I'm going to type in revolve. And um, Rhino asks you or asks you to um, select um, the object you want to modify after giving it a command. So by typing in revolve, Rhino tells me to select the curve I want to revolve. So this is a curve we are going to revolve. I press enter and um, it asks for the start of the axis and the end of the axis and we want this to be 360 degrees we're not giving an angle and um, at the first step and the second step we're going to give 360 degrees for the revolution so if you change this let's say to 170 sorry you will get your curve revolve, but not completely 360 degrees, but just 270 degrees. So um, if we close this, I'm gonna repeat this. And the top view is a little bit easier. All right, start off axis, end of axis. And we're gonna change this to 360, going to perspective. And that's it, you've got your curve revolved and the curve is right here. So you can see that's exactly the same shape, but we will, it's the, the shape of the curve uh, turned into a solid. And you can apply this for any curve 
you you sketch on Rhino. For example, this is very helpful if you want to design a vase or a bottle, um, any kind of recipient where you I don't know, pour in liquids or uh, maybe a candle holder, um, a glass. So it, it, it depends on, on the application you want to give the curve or the, the object but um, it's definitely a very helpful tool. So if you're doing a shape that is not symmetrical and it's like a compound or a selection of organic curves, I would suggest that you um, connect the curves as surfaces. So I'm going to sketch now. In addition to the curve I already had, I'm going to do another organic form and use these two curves to make one surface. So I'm selecting both. I go to the option of surface from three or four corner points and I press the arrow on the right bottom port so I press and hold and a men menu opens out and I can choose different options um, which allow me to convert curves into surfaces so I'm going to try the first thing with the tool of loft so I'm going to loft the surface and a window pop pops out as you can see and it asks me the style so I can lose um, lose the the tidiness, so to say, of the of the surface. You can also um, rebuild the surface with different control points. So I can put like twenty control points. And those twenty control points are shown in the lines on the surface, right? So I've used the the curves I've sketched to do um, an organic surface, an organic form, an organic shape, which I can um, attach to another surface. For example, I'm quite sure that these two surfaces won't fit together, but um, I mean, it all depends on the shape you want to, to create. So you can split it up into different sections and do each uh, part of the object um, on singular surfaces until you get the form you want to achieve. So I hope this short um, explanation helps you out on creating freeform shapes and freeform objects or organic shapes. If you have any doubts, questions, um, if there's any specific subject you want me to talk about on a future video, please let me know. You can also send me an email. Um, if there is anyone interested on taking online courses regarding sketching, industrial design sketching, product design sketching, um, just contact me via email. You can also send me a message on Instagram via DM and well, I'll see you guys next time. If there is anybody who wants to have this video in Spanish, um, just let me know and I'll do a Spanish version of it. Take care.